and I, I don't remember what it was. And he asked me if I'd like to fly, and I said, sure. So I got down there at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. We took off at 10.30, and uh, uh, Paul briefed me on the way down. He said, we're going down to Bridgeport, and we're going to fly over the airport, uh, where there, there is a crowd of people waiting for us. Uh, but he said, well, what they like to see <coughs> is the aircraft flying just on the turboprop engine, where we shut down all of the, uh, the four right engines. So we got four or five miles out and started shutting down the right engines and uh, were approaching the airport at really a pretty low altitude. I was surprised that uh, Paul was going down as low as he was going down. I thought that was more a fighter pilot uh, approach to making a, uh, a low pass. But we went, were approaching the airport at something over 200 miles an hour at maybe 150, 200 feet over the main runway. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the flight engineer who was controlling the turboprop engine said, bring the rights up, I have to shut this down. <laughs> now, I don't know why he had to shut it down. There have been a couple of theories. One, one theory was that he was running out of fuel, and, uh, and that's why he had to shut it down. But in any event, we were a quarter of a mile from the end of the runway uh, when indeed our four rights were feathered and the turboprop engine was feathered. <coughs> so we went over the field at 200 feet with all five engines feathered. <laughs> More than a little consternation in the, uh, in the cockpit about, you know, you, usually it takes five minutes per engine to get the engine started. So five times uh, four would have been 20 minutes to start all four <laughs> if you went through a normal checklist. Kind of obviously we uh, we did it by uh, by brute force. <laughs> and by the time we got to the uh, far end of the runway, uh, the four engines were beginning to come around, and we did not crash and burn and all die. <laughs> 